वेलकम टू हार्डेट इंजीनियर डॉट कॉम आई एम वरुण पटेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट सेंट्रिकल पम्प पार्ट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम कवरिंग नाइन पार्ट्स सच इज बॉडी विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कैसिंग इम्पेलर वियरिंग शाफ्ट कपलिंग बैरिंग एंड बैरिंग हाउसिंग सीलिंग सिस्टम सक्शन एंड डिस्चार्ज फ्लैंजिस एंड सपोर्ट फ्रेम सो वॉच द वीडियो to get the complete understanding of this topic and don't forget to subscribe because that way you will get the notification of my future video you can subscribe right now by just clicking the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen so let's start with video pump is a mechanical product it is made of several different parts based on the type of pump it may have a different parts here i have covered the most commonly found centrifugal pump parts that you may found in almost all pumps here in the exploded 3d model you can see the different parts of the pump this is the simple pump that is used in the water application i have marked the main components here so let's start with the first part of centrifugal pump body and casing pump body which is also known as casing is the largest component of the pump it can be fabricated or made from casting most pumps that you will see in the process plant have a cast body forge or fabricated casting is used for the special application pump where casting is difficult or costly body host all other components of the pump it will also provide the passage for the fluid the volute design of the body helps in the increasing the pressure had by converting energy depending on the pressure and the fluid property it can be manufactured from the different materials such as carbon steel stainless steel or alloy steel there are different types of casing design available to meet the different pump design the first one is single and double volute body here in the photo you can see the single and double volute casing design pump with large radial force use double casing body to reduce the force on the body second is single and double suction body here in the photo you can see the single and double suction casing design in double suction design fluid can enter from the both side of the impeller this is more complex than single suction design the third type is single or multi stage body As you can see in the photo multi stage pump body is bigger and costly than the single stage pump The next is radial or axial split body Depending on the pump type whether radial or axial the pump body can be manufactured accordingly In the photo here you can see the both type Now if you want to learn more about centrifugal pump principle operation and design you can check the full course available on my website it is 7 hour long course covering every aspect of the centrifugal pump that will make you super confident about this design of the centrifugal pump now the next part of the centrifugal pump is impeller the impeller is the most critical part of the pump performance proper impeller design and selection will decide the efficiency of the pump it transfer the energy from the driver to the fluid it converts kinetic energy into pressure out of the pump impeller has a curved blade which is also known as a van and it is mounted on the pump shaft there are three basic impeller designs available here you can see the same in the images the first one is open impeller second one is semi closed impeller and the third one is closed impeller so open impeller it is the most simple design the van of this type of impeller is open on both side due to this design it is structurally weak as compared to other two types the open impeller is used in the service with particles you can also see this type of impeller in a cheap low duty pump second type of pump impeller is semi closed impeller in this design one side of the impeller van is attached with a circular disc this impeller is stronger than the open impeller and provide better performance This impeller can handle liquid with some particles without choking. Now the third type is closed impeller. Pump used in the process plant have a closed impeller. In this type, 
vents are enclosed from both sides. In the image, you can see this type. A closed impeller is difficult to manufacture and costly. It gives the best performance and high efficiency. It is used with clear liquid and cannot be used in the liquid with suspended particles. The next pump part is wear rings. You can see the wear rings used to prevent damage to the impeller and pump body in the image here. It is a metal ring as you can see in the image. The wear rings function is to protect costly impeller and body from the damage due to the high speed. You can replace these rings at periodic maintenance. The next part is shaft. The function of the pump shaft is to transfer the driver energy to the driven that means impeller. It is four steel with machine surface. Depending on the pump design, it can be overhang type such as in a single stitch and suction pump or supported at both ends such as between bearing pump. The next part is coupling. To connect pump with a driver, whether it is motor, engine or turbine, the coupling is used. There are two types of pump coupling used in the pump. The first one is fixed or rigid coupling. This type of coupling is used when you have a perfectly aligned driver and motor. It is not suitable for the most pump used in the process plant. If there is a misalignment, it will create a high stress in the staff. The next type is flexible coupling. It is regularly used in a pump as this can compensate some of the amount of both radial and axial misalignment. In the image here, you can see the both type of pump couplings. The next is bearing and bearing housing. Most centrifugal pump use standard roller bearing. The bearing function is to keep the shaft in position and it facilitates the frictionless movement of the shaft. Bearing are also one of the most critical components of the pump as improper selection leads to pump failure. Bearing housing is the place where bearing are installed. Lubricant is filled in this housing to keep bearing cool and well lubricated to achieve the best performance. In the image, you can see the bearing and bearing cover under which bearing sits. Next is the sealing system. The function of the sealing system is to prevent the leaking of the liquid from the pump. Depending on the properties of the liquid being handled, complexity is involved. The pump sealing system can be a simple and a complex at the same time. A simple gland packing is enough for the water pump, whereas for toxic or inflammable liquids, a separate sealing system is required. Different type of mechanical seals are available to meet these requirements. The next part is the suction discharge flanges. Suction and discharge flanges are the part of pump body. It can be end suction, top discharge or radial type. Dimension of these flanges are machined to match the connecting pipe flanges. Sometimes you can see the small ring welded inside the discharge flange to achieve the desired flow rate. The last part of the pump is a support frame. Pump are mounted on the structural support frame. This frame provides the base for the pump and driver. Proper design is necessary to avoid the vibration of the pump. For some engine driven pump, driver are installed on a separate frame. The frame is constructed from I-beam and channel to provide strength. This is all about centrifugal pump parts. If you want to learn more about centrifugal pump, principle, operation and design, you can check the full course available on my website. It is a 7 hour long course covering every aspect of pump that will make you super confident about centrifugal pump. So please do like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that way you will get the notification of new video. See you soon. Goodbye. Take care.